There was once a pastor who was giving a sermon and he had written notes in the typed text of that sermon in terms of how to deliver it. So in other, at one point he wrote in the margin, recite this line slowly. In another location, he said, pause for emphasis. In another spot, he said, argument here is weak. Make sure to speak very loudly to make the point. The idea being, of course, is that the louder someone is, it doesn't mean that they are more um, convinced of their argument, but it could be a sign that their argument is weaker. And they're trying to compensate for the weakness of their argument through the uh, sound, the decibel level of their voice. And this is the idea at the beginning of Parshas Vayigash, when Yehuda says to the viceroy, whom we know to be Yosef, Yehuda says, let me speak into your ear, O viceroy, and let me make my argument. Yehuda says, I'm not going to make my argument by yelling and screaming, because the loudest argument is not always the most correct argument. It may even not even be the most logical argument. I'm going to speak softly and be... Um, be confident with the courage of my conviction. And I'll speak softly in the in the ear of the Viceroy and hopefully that will uh, win the day, that argument. Today, we find ourselves at a time when people think the loudest voice is the one that is the most accurate. And we know, especially as it relates to Israel advocacy and those who protest against Israel in favor of the terrorists and again, in favor of Hamas, hard to believe but true, the louder you are often indicates the weaker your argument, the more immoral your argument is. And so we have to be as loud as we can in the courage of our convictions on behalf of that which is true, that which is moral, on behalf of Israel. But we also have to remind the world and ourselves that the loudest arguments, the loudest voice is very often not the one that is true or accurate in any way. Wishing you a Shabbat Shalom.